making his way out to the ring for the Ottomans Evaldes Petrauskas Petrauskas has a 1 and 0 WSB record he's currently ranked number 10 163 centimeters just 21 years of age and originally from Lithuania Evaldes Petrauskas took a win in week four against Branimir Stankovic so building on his WSB record will he have luck tonight and be the first of the Ukrainians to win in about this evening or will Carlos Aquino make it a straight three and put that team win firmly out of reach for the Ukrainians Aquino well he's got a record of 0-1 in the WSB currently ranked at number 15 he lost this season in week 6 against Renato Di Donato There's the numbers for Iwaldas Petrauskas. One win this season, ranked at number 10, no losses. Uh, Valentin Sobolevsky in the corner. And uh, Aquino, that one loss this season and ranked at 15. So this light welterweight bout, 64 kilograms is the category. Julio Garcia, of course, head coach for the Condors, just having... Continuamos con esta octava fecha del grupo A en la serie mundial de boxeo de Aiba. Argentina y Ucrania se enfrentan en combate a cinco rounds. Presentamos a los boxeadores en el rincón rojo. Representando a los cóndores, Carlos Aquino. Y en el rincón azul de los Otamans, Evaldas Petrovka. Es árbitro de este combate el italiano Enrico Licini. Son jueces de Francia, Faid Mofoa, de Irlanda, Simus Kelly, de Ecuador, Clemente Carrillo, de Grecia, Evangelos Bougiocas y de Brasil, Jones Kennedy. So our judges from Brazil, Greece, Ecuador, Ireland and France. And our referee from Italy, Mr. Enrico Licini. For Argentina, Carlos Aquino. And for the Ukraine, Evaldas Petrauskas. But already, you can see the high advantage. No golpe abajo, no lo blow. Being demonstrated uh, Good luck. Buena fortuna. quite visually by Enrico Licini, who delivered his instructions perfectly in Spanish. Even though he is Italian. Segundos afuera. Round. So the first round and huge height advantage straight Pass. away to Aquino. Is he going to be able to use that to advantage here? Straight away, working off the left. Both fighters orthodox here. No slapping, no slapping. Petrauskas needs to get in on the inside. He looks a real powerhouse, Petrauskas. 
when he works on the inside, he's really dangerous. Just look at those big Stop. hits coming in. No slapping, no slapping. Well, Aquino now starting to get his shots off. Starts to go to work. Big left there from Petrauskas. Petrauskas having to get under the guard, and he does it so well. And once he gets in close... Well, Aquino's down. It's a knockdown. Well, referee rules a slip. But uh, for my money, Petrauskas is all over this. And it's gone toe to toe. And Petrauskas has brought Aquino. Big right hand on the chin there. And it's got to be a standing count. And referee Three, Alberto Licini four, eventually brings the five, count to bear. Six, seven, eight, box. Well, Iwaldas Petrauskas looking Tyson esque here. Big left hand again connects with Aquino. No holding, no holding. And Aquino needs to cover up and keep that guard well in place because these are big bombs being let go by Petrauskas. I thought that was an earlier knockdown. The referee ruled a slip, but the count was to come. So as this bout has settled down now and the pace evened out, it gives Carlos Aquino a chance to evaluate. The opening of that round meant he had to get out of the way of those. Just look at those big... Big round swinging shot. And Petrauskas works his way in under the guard, goes under, and big hooks left and right. Oh, and those hooks. More swing than Glenn Miller's band. Just look at him land those shots. No holding, holding, Rick. Well, he poses a real danger. Go! Petrauskas. And, um, as I said, there was something quite Tyson-esque about his work there. His ability to launch inside and then get off those big swinging shots, those hooks, the left and the right. Boom. There we get it. And again. And it really is quite Tyson-esque. Well, the round in favour of the Ukrainian Ottoman. That standing count. Will secure the round for Petrauskas. Segundos afuera. Segundo round. And the judges unanimously in favor in fact two judges scoring it 10-8 which is a clear winner with dominance well round two of five and Aquino the bucket, the bucket. starting to come under pressure here the bucket. I have to say that uh, Petrauskas has set his stall out here just look at those shots now to the body to drop the hands. Comes back upstairs. Petrauskas head hunting here. Stop. Big left hand. Stop. And a slip because of the water in the blue corner. The Ukrainians, cornermen. Wiping and uh, Aquino complaining about the head. But that could be the least of his worries at this stage. And he comes back strongly, Aquino. Starts to evade some of the shots now. Petrauskas starting to gas a little bit. And Aquino, having taken the best that Petrauskas has got, might find that. Uh, a little bit of 
unintentional rope dope was applied here in that Petrauskas now, having thrown his best shots, still unable to put Aquino away. He has to uh, carry on with that and come up with something new, but uh, he said he stalled out very clearly and very early. Petrauskas. He's starting to slow the pace a little bit. Petrauskas. Oof, but just look at him bring it back. Absolutely launches himself behind those shots. And Aquino really needs to have a care. And it's incredible how Petrauskas closes the distance. And when you think of the height advantage, good right hand there, when you think of the height advantage that Aquino's got and the reach, he's not able to do it. Both hands there up by his temple, trying to keep covered up here. Oh, good exchange. Good left-right, left combination straight through the guard of Petrauskas. Oh, but a good right hand through the guard. Aquino's chin has been tested here to the limit. Petrauskas, well, just seems a millimetre from an awesome KO punch. What an exciting bout. Ten-second clapper will see nothing meaningful Go. in this round. And at the end of the second, another great round for the Ottoman. Chance to revisit the action. And, uh, Carlos Aquino taking some awesome shots. And that was another grueling round for the Argentinian. I have to say, big up and respect. Oh, mixed bag there. One giving it to Carlos Aquino. Judge A, but Judge B and Judge C firmly in favor of Ivaldes Petrauskas. And, uh, well, earnest words there from coach Julio Garcia to Aquino. And that is a very, very dangerous place to be in a ring with Ivaldas Petrauskas. It's a real test of character for Aquino, which uh, well, he's passing with uh, honours, really. Starting to move now, starting to work off his left hand and uh, get back into this fight, as indeed I predicted Petrauskas has just slowed the pace a little bit. Still able to get in on the inside. Just look at the havoc he causes when he gets in there. A little whirlwind. Petrauskas causing all kinds of problems on the inside. But Aquino now getting traction in round three. Just coming through. The crowd in support of Aquino. Petrauskas looking to headhunt again. Delivering these shots millimetrically. Just wide of a big upset here. left in round three and Aquino's done very well to gain some purchase. I think it's the fact that Petrauskas has uh, eased up on the work rate here which has allowed Aquino the ability to get his own shots off and you can see the work is good it's crisp and a great array of shots hooks to the body 
The left, right. Straight punches coming through. And now he's starting to keep Petrauskas out at range. And Petrauskas not able to work the way he wants. Could this be the turnaround? He started off. All barrels blazing like a sawn-off shotgun. Petrauskas. But is there gas in the car? And at the end of the third, the tank's starting to run. Just a, a little bit on the empty side. So Aquino may have the long game in mind. He certainly survived a whirlwind of absolute thunderous shots from Petrauskas. Well, not only survived, but able to gain good traction. Carlos Aquino has pulled it back. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 in favour of the Condors. That's an incredible feat. He's really turned this around. So two rounds play one, going into the fourth. So the penultimate round, and incredibly enough, after that first round knockdown, Carlos Aquino back in. Shots going everywhere here. But it's done uh, Aquino a lot of favours, just this space. And able now to keep Petrauskas out where he needs. Petrauskas, the work rate, probably 50% of what it was in the first round, which you'd expect after the amount of shots he's thrown. But they're starting to lack the power they had. He's landing them before they were rocking Aquino. And he's off target, millimetrically, but still off target. And Aquino on his toes now, working very well. Whether or not Aquino's got stoppage power, I'd venture that as a no. But um, the danger posed by Petrauskas in the first and second round seems to be slipping and that height advantage and range advantage that Aquino has got well that's the deciding factor certainly in these latter rounds and again Aquino keeping Petrauskas out of range and Petrauskas starting to look very gassed indeed being hit at will now almost burnt out to a standstill so could it be Aquino having inadvertently employed a rope-a-dope tactic has gassed the Ukrainian Ottoman and at the end of the round is it another win for Aquino will he take this victory Stop. from having gone into it two rounds down well that's the magic of the words of Julio Garcia coach for the Condors and Garcia will have told him he needs to keep Petrauskas out at range and work him from a distance not allow him the luxury of coming in 
and going toe to toe and landing those kinds of shots. So has he done it? It'll be close. Well, there you go. He's done it again. Carlos Aquino, 10-9 Judge A, 10-9 Judge B, 10-9 Judge C in favor of the Argentinian. And that's bad news for Petraus because it's two apiece going into the fifth. Everything to play for. And, uh, well, what a great show of heart from this young Argentinian fighter. Petrauskas looked to finish this early. That was the gamble, set his stall out. But over the distance, couldn't maintain it. So the fifth and final round at light welterweight, Carlos Aquino of the Argentinian Condors and Iveldes Petrauskas of the Ukrainian Ottomans. Two rounds apiece going into the fifth. Well, both fighters need to give it their all to take the win here. Big hits we've seen tonight from Petrauskas. But now he's on the inside, whereas in the first and second rounds he'd be throwing those shots off. And I did liken him to Tyson, flying in behind those hooks. And at one stage, I actually thought that Petrauskas was really on target to beat Aquino and beat him like he stole something. But he's run out of steam, and this is the work rate. Aquino on his toes, throwing out the shots, and he's scoring heavily here. The work rate of Aquino, who's still got lots of energy. I wouldn't say he was lemon fresh, but he's still got the ability to land crisp, clean shots on target area. And with the clock ticking down from a minute in round five, the strategy of Petrauskas, which was to hurt Aquino early on, has been derailed, and it's been derailed by the granite chin of Carlos Aquino. Really had it hard in the first two rounds with a first round KO, uh, knockdown, but um, worked his way back. Well, it's really going to the wire here. A real slugfest going into the final 10 seconds of round five. They must sense it's close. Just look at Petrauskas throws himself into the fray Stop! and both men give each other a hug Aquino seems confident that he's done it and I think from that performance in the fifth round he has and what do you say Ivaldus Petrauskas snatched defeat from the jaws of victory flawed strategy got to the fifth Got to the fourth and was gassed. Got to the fifth and really just couldn't do the damage that he'd done in the first and second round. In fairness, against a much taller fighter, that had to be the strategy he employed. So, on a positive side, you could say that he did well. But there's the judges they found in favour of Petrauskas for one round. But for... I say for one round. One judge found in favour of Petrauskas, but two in favor of Aquino. So, Aquino has uh, pickpocketed Ivaldas Petrauskas and taken the win. There must be a niggling doubt in the back of the mind of Petrauskas that uh, the decision here could be ugly. But Aquino 
under the tutelage of Julio Garcia has done this. So the final decision. What a turn up for the books and what an absolutely exciting bout. And a testimony to the determination of this young man. Vamos, vamos. Fallo de la pelea. La decisión es unánime. Unanimous decision. El juez de Grecia, Evangelos Bogiocas. Falló 48 a 47. El juez de Ecuador, Clemente Carrillo. Falló 48 a 47. 48, place 47. El juez de Francia, Pai Mojoa. Falló 48 a 47. Again, 48 47. Es ganador de este combate. So close. Rincón Rojo de Argentina, Carlos Aquino. And it's in favor of Aquino, he's done it. And that's uh, a tough, tough pill to swallow. Ivaldas Petrauskas. Great performance from Aquino. So that's uh, how the judges scored it. Greece, Ecuador, France, 48, 47, 47, 47, 47, 47.